Hi everybody, so this video is going to be about doing mystery host demos or information demos, lots of different names for it. And um, there's quite a few reasons why we do these demos. One of them is purely to service people and to introduce people into what Enio is all about and learning about the product as well as about what a demo is like. Because there's a large amount of people out there who do know nothing about it or know a little bit about it, but they've never been to a demo before. And they're not getting invited to them and they're not gonna host because they've never been to one so they don't know what it's about. And so this is for them. And um, you think about the person that you wanna and uh, think should host, so somebody in your life that you think should host a party. If they've never seen a demo, there's a lot less chance they're gonna wanna host because they don't even know what they're hosting. And if they do decide to host with you, you know what, they might not have the best demo because they don't know what they're getting into. Seeing a demo first is always best, if possible. And um, so if you think about it, if always look at it from their point of view. If somebody you know, your cousin, comes up and wants to introduce you to something new, and she's got this really cool thing I want to tell you about, it's um, Moo Moo. And it's this awesome thing, and it's amazing, and, it's, and you should host a party, and I can invite all your friends, and I can tell them all about Moo Moo. And you're going to go, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what Moo Moo is. You explained it. I don't get it. I don't know what your demo's like. I don't feel comfortable inviting my friends out because I've never seen a demo. So that sounds kind of weird. But if that same cousin comes over and says, I got this really cool thing. It's called Moo Moo. I really want to tell you about it. Um, I'm going to be hosting a demo in my home so you can really learn about it. Do you want to come and see it? Oh. Okay, that's a whole lot less intrusive and a whole lot less um, commitment on my part. If I have to invite all my friends out so that they can come and learn about this moo moo thing that I don't really understand yet and I've never seen a demo before, that's going to feel weird. So I'm going to say no. But if she says, here's an invitation to come learn about moo moo, I'm going to come learn about moo moo because it's easy. Okay, sure, I'll come to your house. We'll learn about it. While I'm there, if I'm impressed with Moo Moo and I'm impressed with the presentation, I might then go, hmm, maybe I will have some friends out so they can learn about this too. So that's the idea behind it, is to introduce them to the product as well as what the demo is like. Okay, um, so there's so, so many different reasons behind hosting um, an information session or a mystery host party outside of the actual party. Obviously, we're going to get more bookings. You will get bookings at these things because um, now they get to see what the demo's like, but also as you invite people that are from all different groups, it's going to happen. This is not just inviting people like, to your birthday party. It's from all different groups all over the place. They're going to be sitting there, and this is not a room full of their friends. They don't know these people who are in the room with them. So they're going to go, hmm, I have lots of friends who've never been introduced to this before. So you're going to get bookings that way as well. Um, also, sales are generally good at these as well because they're not coming because they're your best friend. They're coming because they're actually genuinely interested in the product. And so um, they just wanted to learn about it some more. So sales are generally really good at these as well, um, bookings and sales. And it's also a way of getting introduced to new people, which potentially might want to join your team. So the business side of that is awesome of the actual demo. But outside of the actual demo, there is so many reasons for hosting it. It's not even really about that night, a lot of the things. So one of the things is... Um, the invite. So this is just a sample. Um, so I'm doing up a seven for a bunch of people. If you need them, let me know. I can do them up for you. And you're going to get them. They're going to be four on a page. Chop them up. Hand them out. Print out a ton. And I mean a ton of these. And um, I over, over, over invite. And you're going to kind of hear this theme through the video a little bit. Um, this is not your birthday party. It really isn't. You are not, do not think of this demo as a birthday party or you're having a party and you're inviting people out. Do not invite like it is a birthday party. Invite like it's your business because it is your business. Invite, um, invite from that point of view. If you opened a storefront in your town, um, you would not just invite, you know, your 15 closest friends and your mom. You, that's crazy. It's a storefront. It's your grand opening or it's some special open house you're having, whatever it is. You're not just going to invite 15 people. You're going to invite everybody, everybody. You're going to invite every acquaintance you've ever had. You're going to invite everybody because it's your grand opening to your business. This is your storefront. You're inviting them to it. 
This is your store fight. This is the closest thing we have to a store fight. It's either a Missy host party or an open house. It's the closest thing we have to a store fight. Um, so invite, invite, invite from that point of view. And um, once you start switching your mindset that way, then um, inviting actually becomes a whole lot easier because you're going to, if you think of it as a birthday party, when you go to invite that person that you barely know, um, then you're going to be feel weird because I'm inviting this person I barely know to my birthday party. But if you think about it as your storefront, I'm inviting this person to a grand opening at my storefront. Oh, that's totally easy to do. So think about it from that point of view. And also that helps in a lot of other ways too because sometimes hosting a party can be a little bit emotional and hard because what if no one comes? Oh my goodness, if no one shows up to my birthday party, I'm going to be a loser. Everyone's going to, you know, people don't like me. No, it's not. It's your storefront. I have a friend who's got a storefront in town. And it's a small little storefront, very, very specific thing she does. If only one person shows up in a day, like she doesn't get more than that, but if only one person does show up in a day, I'm sure she's not going, oh, it's my birthday party and nobody showed and I'm really hurt because it's not. It's her store. This is your store. Don't be personally offended in any way about this. This is not personal. This is your business. And keep that mindset. Okay. So um, with the inviting, the reason that's awesome with this tool is, okay, let's say you don't have a date set yet. I still use the, um, the mystery host demos in my business, even if I don't have a date set yet. So I'm out somewhere and I see somebody I haven't seen in ages. And, um, and they say, what are you up to? And I start explaining what I know is about, I give them a little brochure, a little trifle, and we're talking about it. And then it's kind of like, now what? How do you close that conversation? We're sitting in a doctor's office. I haven't seen this girl in two years. I can't try to sell her a bathroom pack sitting right there or try to get her to book a party. I could, but she's never seen one before. She's not knowing what I'm talking about. Um, by saying the best way to learn about it is by seeing a full demonstration, which is why I host it in my home. So you can come out, learn about it, and no pressure, and see what it's all about, give it a try. And then you can decide if it's right for you, if you want to try it or not. Um, how about I get some, I haven't set a date yet, but I'm planning on doing two next month in my home. How about I get the invitations out to you and all the information, and if one of those dates works for you, great. If not, oh well. Simple, easy. Wow, was that easy. And it closed it on a very positive note. I have, how it's closed it is on not asking for a yes or no if you're going to come to anything. I just said, this is what it's about. This is the best way to learn about it. How would I get an invite out to you? And if you can come, great. If not, oh well. Okay. I then get her email address. She now goes on my list. I have a list of people who said, sure, invite me out to an information session. I've gotten this from random places. Um, at school, trips with my kids, all over the place. And I get the information. It goes on that list. Also trade shows and other places. Then when I have 10 or 15 on that list, I host a party. And I invite them. And then I do much bigger inviting as well. So they're kind of where I start, and then I go from there. Invite your entire customer base. So we're supposed to be booking one of these um, beginning of May or mid-May or whenever you decide to do it in that time period. Um, there's lots of good reasons for doing this. Book it, um, send an invite out, email to your entire customer base. Absolutely do that. In there, I'm going to get you to put a little special blurb above the invite saying um, that we have um, new packages and new products that are out and you also want to show them. So this is going to be kind of cool because you're going to be able to kind of double whammy this with the new products to get some of your existing customers out and then also get some newbies out because we also know it's really good when you have some existing customers there to tell the newbies how awesome it is. I am going to recommend that you do two dates uh, or two times and the reasoning um, is then there's a lot more chance you're going to be able to accommodate those you're um, inviting. I do like a 12.30 and a Tuesday and um, maybe actually more like a 6.30 and a Tuesday and a 12.30 on a Wednesday the next day. And the reasoning for this is that afternoon one actually works surprisingly well. When I first did it, I thought no one's going to come. Um, it's 12.30 in the afternoon. But I actually get a large amount of people because it's not my birthday party. It's a business thing and it's during business hours. So I actually get a lot of people that come out to that one. Often my 12.30 has more than my 6.30. The reason I do them so close together is because I'm only at the clean my house once and I have it all set up in my house once. 
uh, Tuesday in the evening, Wednesday at noon kind of thing, or 12.30. As far as inviting, um, you're going to email out people, Facebook people, um, personal mess, oh, so do an event. Obviously do an event, it's totally not enough. You just do an event, there's no way you're getting people out, but that's just an added little thing. There's lots of different ways. Make the event, invite out everybody. Um, maybe not all the annual consultants on your, on your friends, but all your other friends, invite them out. The ones who have venue, the ones who don't have venue. Personal messaging really, really does work. So you throw a personal message out to people. Do not do a group personal message where you like personal message 27 people at once. That is annoying. Nobody likes that. And you're getting people saying off conversation. So personal message. Have a little blurb written up about um, how I have And then make it personal. So, um, hey Jill, I haven't seen you in a, in a while. I hope things are going well. Um, I'm going to be hosting an annual demonstration. It is an amazing product. Give a quick little blurb about it. I love this stuff. I'd love for you to come out and learn about it. It'd be great to see you. And then embed that um, the invite directly right into that message so it pops up when she sees it. And then with the send it with the next person. Copy the main part of that um, message. Copy it over to hers, add something a little bit personal so it's quick. This is quick. Keep doing it. Each one looks very personal, but it's part of it still copied. This really does work. First time I tried it was a couple years ago, and I sent it out to like 40 people. I just sat there, it took me an hour, sent it out to 40 different people. And you know what? I probably had a half of them didn't respond. That's okay. Um, and I had a, a section, maybe eight of them, who said, you know what? This one won't work for me, but I actually am interested. Let me know about the next one. I got eight new people to invite to the next one. That's awesome. And then I had a couple that did come. Um, one of those ones who said, this won't work for me, invite me to the next one, actually ended up coming out to something and then ended up hosting her own party and is now a consultant. You all probably know her. I had them out there. So, and I knew her from high school. I hadn't seen her in years. And she's awesome. I loved her in high school. And so it was actually a little bit, I'm going to be honest here, Heather, it was a little nerve-wracking inviting at first because I'm like, I haven't seen her in forever. I hope she's thinking this is weird that I'm inviting her out to a and your demo when I haven't seen her in forever. But she wasn't offended by it. Nobody is offended by an invite. It's just an invite to a business thing. Don't take it personally. And um, it makes it a lot easier. So you do all of that. You get the email. You get the Facebooking. And then and some personal emails as well. And then the most important thing, after all of that, is you print out a ton of these. I'm talking 200 at least. And the four on a page, so it's only like 50 sheets. And do it on cardstock, so it's more stayed, and they're actually gonna be slightly smaller than this one. Um, and keep these in your purse, keep them everywhere you go. Um, you're gonna use this invite as a tool. This is not just an invitation, this is a tool. So, before you start doing the inviting though, we're gonna get you to make up a list, you're gonna get a piece of paper and you're just gonna start writing names. Every name that pops into your head. I don't care if um, they've already been introduced to Enio or they haven't been introduced to Enio. Um, people you haven't seen in 10 years, people you saw last week, people with brown hair, people with blonde hair, whatever thing you can think of that triggers your memory, write it down. Even if it's someone that you're like, I am never, ever, ever calling this person, write their name down. It doesn't matter if you're never gonna call them, write their name down. Because writing their name down is gonna trigger a memory of somebody else. Write names, and you're gonna. If it's funny, if you do this, sit down with your husband or your friend or your sister, and just see how many names you could write down in half an hour. You will be shocked. You will have hundreds of names written down of people that you know, your cousins, your neighbors, your um, old friends from college, whoever. Write every single name down. Now you're gonna qualify them after you've got all these names down. You're gonna have hundreds of names. Get different color um, highlighters. And you're gonna go through. And the first one you're gonna do is, okay, blue highlighter, who do I feel comfortable giving an invite to? Now, I mean comfortable, you're gonna to have to expand the comfort zone a little bit. Like who, okay, I, I, you know what, Jill Smith, you know what, I haven't seen her in a little bit, but I know where she lives. I can handle a personal invite. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, I can do that, I got her. Okay, um, that hairdresser, okay, I can do it. I'm gonna head in there, I'm gonna get the hair done next week, I'm gonna do that. And that lady at that grocery store, you know what? I always see her, she's always my trash just lady. Okay, I can do that one. And it's gonna be feeling like that. You're gonna feel like, mm, okay, I can do that one. Think about, don't think about it as a big, don't think about it, your, your five pages you got listed out at this point. Think about each one individually. Could I, oh, no, okay, I can't do that one. Okay, I can do that one. And don't think about how many you're highlighting, just wait and highlight, and you'll be shocked. You're gonna have 50 highlighted. 
I swear you will, by the time you're done, of people that you know, I could do this. I could give them an invite. And then that is your commitment paper. You've now blued out everybody that individually, not overwhelmed when you see the 50, individually you said, I, I could give her an invite. And um, then get these out to them. Make a commitment. Go, okay, so I'm going to line up how you're going to do this. This is your business. Getting these invites out is not a social thing. This is your business. And you figure out how you're going to do it. And then you keep them with you everywhere. Um, and you make the effort to get those out to people. And one other option, too, is on the back of the, um, on the, back of the invites, write their name. So you got these people with the blue list. So you got your however many you end up that you're for sure going to hand an invite to. Put their name on the back. Or if there's room at the top, put the name on the top. This is for them. And then you are now committed. You got your pile of invites there with names on it. And you have to get these pe these invites out to them however you can. And um, so it's a good little commitment thing for you. And then you've got your other 200 invites that you printed up. They're in your purse. They're with you all the time. You don't have to carry all 200 with you. But you keep them with you all the time. You're out at the grocery store. You're out at the doctor's office. Wherever you are, you are conscious about whoever you see you're going to give them an invite. Um, this is a way to start the conversation. In your Do What We Do program, it actually says in there that we want you to hand out 50 of these to people that you've never talked to anyone about. Some of them are going to be the ones on your list that you blew out, but some of them are going to be people that you haven't even thought of yet, and you got it in your bag, and then you're at the school, and then you realize, oh, I haven't talked to this lady about it. I haven't talked to that lady. And then you're going to realize you're going to get more that aren't even on this list. This starts the conversation because you really, let's say you got this lady that you've always wanted to talk to about anything. It's your hairdresser, it's your whatever. Let's say it's your hairdresser, let's go with that. But you haven't had the guts to bring it up because you know, it's kind of hard to bring up Enya. How do you just wait and go, so I'm doing Enya and I want to talk to you about it. That's kind of hard to just randomly bring up. But if you are say to them, I'm going to be hosting an Enya demonstration in my home. I love this stuff. It's awesome. What it's done for my home is amazing. Um, I would love for you to come out. Have you ever heard of Enya? Boom. Easy way to start the conversation. It's not pushy. It's just inviting them out and the conversation can start. And they might just go, oh, okay, thank you very much and move on. They might do that. Or they might go, okay, wow, you know what, I haven't heard of this. What is it about? Conversation started. They've now asked you, door is open, you can tell them. And at this point, tell them wow stories. Tell them how it's going to benefit them tomorrow. Um, that's what's going to excite them. Um, but tell them the history of Enya. <laughs> tell them your wow stories. Tell them about the pee in the bathroom and the stain in the tub and whatever. Have some before and after shots in your purse if you want. And it's like, these are the kind of things that really impress me about it. And show them. There's lots of before and after shots now on this group. Thank you to everybody. Share those. Print them out. Have them there. Um, and what's cool with this is getting those conversations started, that is as important as a demo itself. Um, so you can have a successful demo before the demo even happens. Um, as an example, there was this lady at, um, at my kid's school that I kept seeing you know, on, on field trips and that I always wanted to talk to her and I know she was awesome. And I didn't, I didn't know how to bring it up with her. So um, one day I knew that we were gonna be on this um, field trip again. So I made sure that I had some of these printed up I go and she's standing with her mom and I said, you know what, Kelly, I really wanted to invite you out to an annual information session. I did the whole thing, gave it to her. She goes, you know what, I have been wanting to talk to you about this for a while. I just don't know if I should bring it up. My car is covered in annual stickers. Obviously, it's okay if you bring up annual with me. But she wasn't sure if she should or not. So just because someone's not bringing up annual with you, doesn't mean they don't want to talk to you about it. Sometimes you got to be the one bringing it up and use the invite to do that. Anyways, so she's standing there with her mom. And when she's talking about it for a minute, she goes, you know what? Maybe we should just host a demo ourselves. I'll host it in my home. So she ended up booking a demo off of me giving her an invite. So even if nobody showed up that night, my mystery host party was a full-on success because I got a chance to talk to somebody new about Enyo and they booked a party. I already had a booking, so that night it didn't matter. It was already a success. But I also ended up talking with like hundreds of other people about it because of this. I also 
outside I've been and been giving it to people, I will leave a little pile at the hairdresser shop. Um, I will ask my sister, here, here's 10, can you, you know, get these out of people that you think might be interested? And um, I will pop them and I actually get my kids to drive up and down the road, they get the licenses now, which is nice, um, up and down the roads, because um, we're out in the country, and pop it in every mailbox around. And this really does work. One of my neighbors down the road, who I barely knew, um, it took her seven invites. <laughs> and then she finally came. I still kept inviting her because I wasn't offended that she didn't come because it wasn't about me. It was about her. Maybe those nights didn't work. Maybe she didn't, wasn't interested in Enya before because it wasn't about me inviting her to a party. It was about me inviting her to learn about Enya. At that time, she wasn't interested, but now she was. Seventh invite later, she came, booked a party, that, bought a starter pack, booked a party that night, and it's actually had two parties. Um, so getting those invites out was well worth it for me. So don't be offended if someone doesn't come, and if they don't come to one, invite them to the next one. Other really important line that you're going to say to people, you invite them out to this information session and they say, oh my goodness, I'm gone away that week, I can't come. No problem. Um, I host these more often because a lot of people want to see them. I'm planning on doing two more next month. I haven't set the date yet, the dates yet, but I'm going to get an invite out to you when I do set the dates and hopefully those ones work for you, okay? Okay. Door is open. Otherwise, you give this to them and they say, oh, I'm busy that week, can't come. Okay. Door closed. But if you say, I'm going to host another one next month, if you want to come, I'll get you an invite, door is open. You're not asking for a yes or no, you're just offering them an invite. Very easy, very simple. So this is actually the biggest part of the entire um, Do What We Do program that's really going to benefit you, and you are going to do this. Get those invites out there. Keep track. Every time you hand one out to somebody, write it down. I want to know how many invites each of you personally hand to somebody. I want to know how many personal emails you put out there, personal messages, how many people you actually talk to one-on-one -on -one about Enyo because you now have the confidence to with this tool. Um, I would love to hear the success behind not just the demo itself, but all the other stuff with it. This is not your birthday party. This is your business. Think about it like that way. Invite, 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 and have fun with this. Um, and if you have any questions, post them in underneath um, this video. And I'd love to hear from you. Have fun with this. Bye-bye.